Trace killing. Spencer Tracy. Typical Hollywood story. Damn good actress. You took my life and broke it. You were at the bottom of this whole thing and I hate you for it. If it had been any other woman, you never would have given it a second thought. You only cared because it was me. Because you're jealous of me. You've always been jealous of me. Miriam Hopkins and Betty Davis hated each other. There was a whole backlog of feelings and animosity that sort of developed along the way. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you two? What's the joke? And that showed in its, its, its first picture between the two of them, the old maid. Betty didn't like Miriam's behavior and the whole thing. Mate, what a word between us. the word that has been between us since the beginning, the very beginning. So when Old Acquaintance came to my desk, I had read it, and I didn't think it was a great play, but I thought it would make what would be called a very good woman's picture. Miriam was a trickster, and she was very skillful, but Betty was very smart. She knew exactly what Miriam was doing. At one point she said to me, now you watch Miriam. As I get older, she'll get younger. <laughs> And sure enough, that happened. But then came the time in the picture when Betty has to grab Miriam and shake her and, and throw her back on the sofa. And everybody was waiting for that because they knew that they, the two of them didn't like each other. And that animosity grew as the picture went on. But that morning, before we shot the scene, I got a call, Miss Hopkins wants to see you. I went to the room, she said, Vincent, I know Betty has to shake me and uh, I'll be glad to cooperate, but I just hope you'll ask her not to be too violent because I slept badly last night and I have a crick in my neck. So sure enough, I got a call from Betty wanting to talk to me. She said, that bitch, she doesn't want me to do certain things about, and I said, don't worry about it, do it as the script calls for it. Anyway, came the moment where Betty has to shake her and Betty took her and started shaking him. Well, instead of resisting the shaking, Miriam sort of let her, her head go loose, and it was like a broken uh, doll with a broken head. It was wobbling about, and it looked ridiculous, do you see? So when, when, she, when, when Betty stopped shaking her, she threw her down and turned around, and walked out, and looked at me as though to say, did you see what she did? Anyway, we finally got the scene right. What's going to call it? Well, I'm not sure. I've had several ideas. What do you think of Old Lang Syne? Well, if it's about us, why not Old Acquaintance? Old Acquaintance. Old Acquaintance. Of course, kid. Let's drink to that, Millie. Our May Star of the Month, Betty Davis, gets a full 24 hours every week beginning Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on Turner Classic Movies.